We also have new reporting tonight on a Justice Department tactic uncovered by my next guest. His new report says that when President Obama's DOJ, the same one we've been discussing, goes after financial institutions, you know, big banks who are messing things up, the settlement they extract does not always go to the victims of the bank's behavior, where it's supposed to go, but instead that money often heads right to left-leaning nonprofits who help get Democrats elected. Joining me now, Peter Schweitzer, the president of the Government Accountability Institute and the author of Clinton Cash. Peter, good to see you. So, just give us an example of how this would go down. Well, basically, uh, you had a lot of uh, activity by Wall Street firms, some of it which, which was certainly criminal uh, in 2008 related to mortgage-backed securities, et cetera. The Department of Justice decides to take legal action against them, uh, and the banks are obviously eager to settle. So they will settle, and part of that settlement will be that some of the funds may go to the victims of the crime you committed, but some of that money is actually going to go to pay restitution in the form of giving that money to nonprofit organizations. Organizations, and these are nonprofit organizations that are overwhelmingly progressive uh, and serve basically as an adjunct to the Democratic Party. Well, that's the thing. So it's like, okay, maybe we're going to save the whales, we're going to clean up the oceans, people like that. But it, that's not that's not what we're talking about. No, we're not. I mean, to give you one example, uh, one organization that's received millions of dollars is a group in New York called Asian Americans for Equality. I mean, sounds like a great idea, right? The problem is when you look into this organization, which got money from banks via the Department of Justice, this is an organization affiliated with the Communist Workers Party. Oh. I didn't even know that Communist Workers Party was around anymore. <laughs> and in fact, the organization that received this money is sympathetic to the North Korean regime. I mean, how hard how hard is, is it to find somebody that likes uh, you know, the dictatorship there? Why are the feds giving that group money? Uh, it's a great question. I mean, a lot of it is sort of get out the vote, act, act, you know, examples, um, efforts. Um, in some cases, it's uh, designed for voter registration. The problem is that when you look at the literature of these groups, with what they mean by get out the vote or voter registration is progressive voters mm -hmm. exclusively. Um, and that's the problem. So is this, can this be stopped? I mean, you would think that that money that these banks have to pay would go sort of, maybe we could use it towards the national debt. I don't know, something, something that everyone could agree we need to do. No, I agree. I mean, look, I think if there are crimes committed by these banks and by these financial institutions, it ought to go to the victims, the people that were victimized. That's uh, other idea. than that, it ought to go to the... Yeah, exactly. Um, you know, or it ought to go to something like the national debt, but to turn it into political activism, uh, you know, is absurd. And, you know, it's something that I think requires a congressional investigation, and people at DOJ need to be held into account. As Judge Napolitano pointed out, and as you pointed out on your show, oftentimes the Department of Justice is supposed to enforce the laws, not break the laws and create their own rules. Mm -hmm. uh, and that's clearly what this organization's been doing. And they're not supposed to be a political arm of the White House. That's that's for sure. Peter, good to see you. Thank you, Megan. Forget all that? You get the general idea. I know you do.